Hey, what's going on guys? Ravi here from Ira FX along with Mr. Zebo. Welcome you to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. So in this video, we'll be learning to make this music video effect in a very simple way. So, without any delay, let's get started. Alright, so I have a video here. Let me drag this to the right side panel here so that a sequence is created. So I have a video of a lady here and we'll be adding this effect that you'll usually notice in some music videos. So in order to do that, go to the FX panel and type in four color gradient. So you have this four color gradient effect in the generate folder of video effects and drag this onto your video just like this. So now you see you have four different colors you can uh, adjust this colors to your desired um, you know choice and um, to me uh, i feel that these are fine so i'll change this blending mode to overlay all right this looks good to me but if you want to adjust the color location you know you can change these settings here you can uh, tweak these values and get the desired output so this is actually fine to me so the next thing that i'll apply is the texture onto our you know onto our video so in order to do the to do that go to the fx panel and simply type grid and you have this grid effect and drag this onto your video just like this so now you see that there is this different uh, boxes here you know you have a grid applied and we'll tweak the values of the grid so change the these values to the y-axis values in such a way that you no longer see the see the horizontal lines okay and also increase the x-axis value decrease the x-axis value in such a way that you can you notice some lines like this also change this anchor value so that the horizontal line you know disappears okay all right so you'll have to adjust the anchor value on the y axis in order to to let the horizontal line disappear and you just have this vertical lines i'll just increase the decrease the value in such a way that we have more vertical lines all right this looks fine to me and i'll change the blending mode to color dodge all right so this looks fine and we'll have to reduce the opacity to like 20 percent just so that you have this you know this texture onto your video perfect so once this is done we can also add a a new legacy title to generate a bar effect that moves from the center to the top so i'll name this bars premium pro is all about creativity so you can do anything that 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 enhances your video look so i'll create a line just like this and what I'll do is I'll enable the shadow and increase the opacity and also increase the spread. I'll increase the size to 10 and I'll also change the color to white just so that you get this glowing line here. So I just enable the shadow and change the uh, size and spread and also the color. Let me close this. And I'll drag this bars onto my video just like this and I'll increase the you know until the end of the duration so I'll select this video and I'll change the blending mode to overlay just so that it looks something like this and I can also tweak the opacity just so that it looks something lighter and I'll go to the first frame and I'll click on this timer button for the position and I'll go to the end of the frame, end of the video just like this and I'll set this value to such a way that it moves to the top alright 
And the last thing I'll do is I'll duplicate this video by holding Alt and moving it to a layer top. And I'll change, I'll select this video and I'll change this position value so that it moves to the bottom of the video. And if I start playing this, you can see that these two lines, these two bars move from the center, one to the top and one to the bottom just like this. So this is how you generate this cool looking music, uh, you know, cool looking effect that you'll usually find in some music videos. I hope you like this video and if that's the case, give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing, you can always connect with me on Instagram at VFXGuyRavi. Mr. Zebo, would you like to add something? Subscribe for more tutorials. Alright, so see you guys next time with another tutorial.